We all know teenagers need sleep, but a new study out today puts a sharp focus on just how many teens and adults not getting enough sleep because they're on their phones even in the middle of the night. Now that study comes from Common Sense Media documents just how many of us take our devices to bed and how many teens are actually sleeping with their phone in the bed. Kate Snow has more. If you've spent any time with teenagers lately, you know how dependent they are on their phones. The battle of the smartphones started ever since they got their first iPhone because it's very hard for them to control when they are supposed to be using it and when they are supposed to just stop. It is frustrating if she tries to take away my phone and she doesn't have a good reason. Gabriella Harding says she tries to keep technology out of her 14 and 16 year olds bedrooms, especially before bedtime, but it's easier said than done. I think that sleeping is everything for moods, for growth, for performance, for everything. When it's time to go to sleep and the light, whatever they're watching, stimulates them. So they have to go to sleep and I tell them my battle is like, don't do it. 10 minutes before going to sleep, and they're like, just 10 more minutes, just 15 more minutes. But I read on my phone before I go to bed. New numbers out this morning show the Harding kids are the norm. Common Sense Media surveyed 1,000 parents and children across the U.S. and found 68% of teens take their devices into the bedroom. Almost a third of teens sleep with them actually in the bed. And most concerning, one in three teens wakes up during the night to check a device, half of them because they want to check social media. This is clearly having a huge impact on people's ability to sleep and also the physical and mental health implications of that. And parents, listen up. We're not being very good role models. 74% of parents have their mobile device within reach while they sleep, and more than a quarter of those adults check their devices during the night. The American Academy of Pediatrics urges everyone to keep screens out of the bedroom, and doctors recommend everyone stop using a screen one hour before going to sleep. But that's not happening either. 61% of parents and 70 percent of teens said they check their mobile device within 30 minutes of falling asleep. I sat down with a great group of students in late 2017 at the Marin School in Northern California. So do you go to bed with your phone and kind of wake up with your phone? Yeah. 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 I use it as an alarm clock. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably the first thing you check. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. And last thing you check at night. Yeah. yeah.